Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Welcome to Coffee Break with her by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Petrita Perez. No, my name is Laura Gonzalez and I welcome you to the Coffee Break. It's been a while. You know what happened? You want to know what happened? Summer is busy. And, um, and I'm busy. I don't like this. Let me get, let me get ready so you can see me ready. Um, just covering a little bit of the front there. It was a little goofy. And now this feels better. There you go. So, um, welcome to the coffee break. Today is Wednesday, July 19th. Uh, 2023 and yes the summer has been busy <clears throat> so I'm here today and I won't be here on Friday hi jelly heart welcome 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 uh, Friday I won't be here because I will be at the ta -da 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 -da, uh, tacos y tamales I will be at tacos y tamales Friday Saturday and Sunday so find me there with Chicuatli and um that's why I'm not going to be here. So, and then Monday I wasn't here because I had a commitment. So, <laughs> um, as I was saying, summer is too busy. And sometimes I can do the video and sometimes I can't. But anyway, uh, today we're going to do Oracle. So I have the Gospel of Aradia Oracle by Stacey Marco. I have the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. A longtime favorite. And I have the Tarot of the Witch's Garden. Now, this is a tarot deck, however, comma, because the amazing Sasha Graham wrote the book in a way that you can actually get a message that is written on every single one of the uh, cards within the book. So say we pick uh, the Five of Swords, right? There is a little message here. And I was telling Sasha when I interviewed her that that can be used as an Oracle message. And because I can think it can be used as an Oracle message, we're going to double that tarot as an Oracle. So I'm not going to interpret the card as I normally would a tarot card. But I'm just going to give you the message that is on the book. So I hope everybody uh, likes that and agrees on that. My hand is still messed up. I have what I think is tendonitis. Ow. But I've been doing my exercises. So we're not going to shuffle the cards. We're just going to mix them around a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> it's not until I try to do things that I realize how much it still hurts. And... Uh, even though it's improving, it's still messed up. All right, so let's see what the Gospel of Aradia has for us today. And this is the first card. We have Taboo. Hello, Efren. How are you, sis? Taboo. Taboo is the card that we have today. It has to do with the blood. I think... It's a ta okay. taboo, taboo, taboo card, and it reads, do not touch, do not think, avoid at all costs, like poison to drink. What is taboo one day might not be the next. As we grow and change, we cease to be vexed. All right, so it says, Find your own way, seek your own path. Unless what you wish for disturbs the greater good, worry less about what others think. Speak about a difficult topic or seek resolution for a difficult situation. 
Your body is your body. You have the right to make choices about its pleasure, pain, and health. Hi, Janet. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to read again. Find your own way. Seek your own path. Unless what you wish for disturbs the greater good, worry less about what others think. Speak about a difficult topic or seek resolution for a difficult situation. Your body is your body. You have the right to make choices about its pleasure, pain, or and health. And the little rhyme, the little spell reads, do not touch, do not think. Avoid at all costs, like poison to drink. What is taboo one day might not be the next. As we grow and change, we cease to be best. And Ephra says that they are listening to Sweetest Taboo. Uh, Sade, Sade, Sade. Hi, Jessica. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome, Janet, obviously. Um, we're going to check the next card. Let's see if I can do it. See, this I can do. It's just the other cards were larger and I couldn't hold them. Uh, friends, stretch, take breaks, don't work eight hours in a row, don't scroll yourself into doom, and do as I say, not as I did. Uh, and don't get yourself into this tendonitis, or even worse, um, carpal tunnel. It's not carpal tunnel. I don't have carpal tunnel, but it's tendonitis. And it really is a bitch. All right. So let's see what the next card is going to be. Out of the four agreements is the be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Express your love. Here's the card, express your love, and it reads, oh, I gotta go back. Uh, impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. That is a beautiful message, so hard to understand, and you know what? That gets trivialized and watered down when people say like, oh, you cannot love truly until you love yourself. It's not that easy. It is about loving yourself fully and then uh, loving others with consciousness. And it's not that we don't love ourselves and we cannot love others. It's we can love others even if we don't love ourselves fully. The difference, comma, is when we learn to love ourselves fully, we learn to love others consciously. And when you love consciously, when you love with your eyes open, you are not going to hurt yourself and you're not going to hurt the other person. That's my take on it anyway. So let me read again. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others. And that action will produce a like reaction. There you have it. All right. So, folks, I was telling you earlier, uh, the whole weekend I'm going to be at... Uh, tacos y tamales so that's going to be on the 21st the 22nd the 23rd um, and uh, after this weekend on the 26th I will be at Davis Park on back of the yards for the summer dance party and then on the 28th I will be at the back of the yards summer market and on the 30th I will be at Weiner's Beer Art Market. I am so excited about all these markets and all this, especially the art market. Not for nothing, but because it's art and I get to, you know, showcase my art, which I will have at Tacos y Tamales as well. So if you don't know what I'm talking about art, um, maybe I don't post my art enough. 
I have a whole collection of art uh, prints that I created, like goddess art and nature art. Oh, I thought I could shuffle, but I can't. Uh, hi, welcome by Patricia Perez and welcome ex -corpions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so no shuffling. The hand is getting better, but not that better yet. It's not that well. Uh, so no shuffling. We're going to pull a tarot card that is going to double as an oracle. Hi, Nessia. I was going to shuffle again. If you don't know what Nessia means, it means stabber. I just call myself stabber. Anyway, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, tacos y tamales. Next week, summer dance at Davis Square. Uh, next Friday, not this Friday, but the following, back to the yard, summers, summer market, and on the 30th, Winer's Beer um, Art Market. Don't shuffle, Laura. It's almost in, like an impulsive thing that I want to shuffle the cards. All right. Uh, don't get tendonitis, folks. So we have the fool. Why am I so happy to have the fool? Because I've been a fool myself trying to shuffle this card. Let's see what the fool's message is. I'm sure it's going to be something really, really good. Okay. The fool's message on the book. Remind you, this is not an oracle. This is a tarot deck. But the author, Sasha Graham, put these little snippets of the message of each card, which I love to use as oracles. And when I was telling her that, she was like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, I think it will double as that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go find the interview. It's on YouTube. Um, it came out on July 10th, the interview with Sasha Graham and yours truly. So the fool... It's about beginning, of course, and it says, Fresh as sparkling morning dew, once upon a time came you. Never mind the steps are steep. Trust your fate. Take the leap. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, of course, I'm a fan of Sasha Graham, so, you know. You know what is thrilling? I'm going to share with you, friends, what is very thrilling. When you admire somebody, when you like somebody, when you like their work, and you get to interview them. It's really cool. It's really cool. Hi, Sonia. Sonia Ari. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So the last oracle for today is, again, from the Tarot of the Witch's Garden by Sasha Graham. And we have the Fool. And it, of course, is related to new beginnings and the element of air, if that matters to you, is related to the element of air. And it reads, fresh as a sparkling morning dew, once upon a time came you. Never mind the steps are steep. Trust your fate. Take the leap. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to be reading tarot on the weekend events. I am not, I am not going to be shuffling the cards. Uh, chances are you're actually going to see me with that torture device. Uh, because I know myself and I know I'm going to try to be moving. So, I better use the, um, the little brace that they gave me at the doctor. But, uh, I will be there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Tacos y Tamales with um, Chicuatli, with Chicuatli, and um, next Wednesday at the Summer Dance on Davis Square, and then Friday at the Back of the Yard Summer's Market, and then Sunday the 30th at winer's beer art market so plenty of opportunities to catch me and if you want your own private session you can always go to my link tree and book a session and find a date that works for you and then book a private session okay thank
thank you everybody for watching you are loved bye bye